Tonight, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper is taking immediate action following the deadly attempted prison escape. Two prison employees were killed and more than a dozen others were taken to hospitals. Today, officials released more details about what happened. Chinu Her has more. Well, Regina, we know this wasn't a spontaneous attempt. Officials say this was planned and four inmates tried to escape from the Pascatank Correctional Institution. The investigation into a deadly attempted prison break in Elizabeth City continues. 14 people were hurt. Two prison employees, Justin Smith and Veronica Darden, were killed. There were also multiple assaults in addition to a fire while this all happened Thursday. A lot of items were collected as evidence. A lot of items that uh, we will try to put the pieces together with that could have been used as weapons. Officials say this was a premeditated escape attempted by four inmates. All of them never made it past the prison yard and charges are pending. Friday night, North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper announced an action on prison safety following this incident. I've directed state prison officials to take immediate action to improve safety, including suspending the inmate work program at the site where the attack happened, increasing officers in areas where inmates work, and ordering a safety review of all inmate work programs the governor said in a statement. It was in the prison's sewing plant where the fire started around 3 o'clock Thursday. Officials say inmates used tools as weapons. It's a sewing area. If you can imagine going into the area where you make um, commercial um, clothing or vests, they will have the same kind of tools. While some people recover and others grieve, law enforcement continued their investigation. There were several crime scenes throughout the prison that had to be processed. Centera Healthcare received 10 patients last night. Today, we've learned seven have been treated and released. Three are still hospitalized. A correctional officer and a maintenance mechanic are still in critical condition. Another person is in fair condition. That person is also a correctional officer. Chnuher, 13 News Now.